Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk for the evening. This is day five of the RPG A Day Challenge, and today's word is space. While it's tempting for me to do the Final Frontier speech, I want to talk about gaming spaces, specifically the rise of gaming bars that I've seen over the past few years. I suppose the closest equivalent to this kind of thing is how RPGs have kind of evolved in Japan. And by this I mean tabletop, obviously. Since there's going to be a premium of space because, well, Japan, what I often hear about are stories of people who will rent um, karaoke rooms for an hour or so and play through that. In a similar vein, there's been a trend of certain bars or, ga or gathering places or the like renting out a certain space or a table or what have you to play any of the games that they have in their particular library. This is certainly an interesting approach, I will give it that. Plus, it helps mitigate the issue that a lot of that's happened a lot of times, where people want to play but they can't agree on the proper setup. Whereas in this kind of case, half of the work is done for you. And there is also the option of getting, dr of getting drinks and the like at the well, gaming bar itself. I mostly see these in the more cosmopolitan cities, I haven't seen them beyond that. And while some of them are a little bit um, hipster for my taste, I do appreciate this attempt at trying to expand the hobby. The only downside that I have is that way too much of it is focused on that edition, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I do think there is a genuine opportunity with these kind of spaces to expand the tabletop hobby in ways that are not as insular as relying solely on forums. That's why, even though I have my issues with it, I've never been against the idea of organized play. It does serve a purpose. It's just that the purpose that it serves is not one that's compatible with the way I want to approach things. Besides, this is probably the best way for gaming bars and, and local gaming stores to actually make some money, because they're certainly not going to make it from official events. But I do think with a lot of these places, we can go a little step further. Maybe it's because of my background, but I think there's an ample opportunity with some local spots to help teach people how to play games outside of the norm. And hell, with a lot of these places, you already have free RPG Day, so why not take it a step further and actually teach people actually teach people a random game? There are some stores that do this, but I think we can go a little bit beyond that. All things equal, I find this kind of concept fascinating. And I do hope it helps expand the hobby in the future. I just want it to be expanded into a form that is still respectful to what came before, instead of trying to act like it's better. 